What's up folks, this is your pal Galactus over here with the guide for the 4th Brutal Challenge Hellions in Tournament. Let's go over the equipment first. I have a Rune Blade, a Central Amulet and the Amulet and the Fury Ring for Cloud. Then he has Petrify with Magnify, Enemy Skill, ATB Boost, First Strike Materia and ATB Stagger Materia. Summon Materia does not really count here. Poison and Petrify Materia then with MP Absorption which is very important and Magic Efficiency Materia with Petrify Materia. A magic up materia and then three auto costs just to get his magic level up in the skills we have magic attack power plus 20 enemy parts damage up and then we have full power magic and ATV charge rate up next one on our list is Kate Sith who has an iron megaphone a Saturn bracer and enhanced Marlboro orb we begin with the type materia with a swift cast materia then another time materia linked to magic focus materia if you have it on level, if you have magic focus max level, then it's really good. Another magic focus linked to time and then another time linked to magnify materia. Then there's first strike materia, chakra materia, MP up materia and precision defense focus. As always, the summon doesn't kind, uh, count. Two debuff extensions, attack power up plus 20 and another attack power plus 20 that is for the weapon skills for Aerith we have the hits and armlet and the choco king scape we have precision defense focus ATB boost materia chakra materia healing materia and revival materia and in a steadfast block material at the start then she has comet limit synergy warding materia linked to subversion which is very important barrier materia limit support materia and at the end she has re rearise materia and uh, in her weapon skill she has ATB charge rate up, reprieve, max MP plus 3 and magic attack power plus 20. So that is all the equipment that you need to have equipped on your team. Now let's get into the challenge. This challenge actually is very very tough. This almost broke me. I was looking at a lot of guides out there. I had to check a lot of stuff and then I still was not able to get through with my equipment and my stats that I had equipped. But thankfully I found this one and I think I should share it with you to help you guys out. Now, uh, as you saw here just at the beginning of the level, always equip Kate Sith as your first character and make sure you have um, magnified stop on one of his short pads like L1X or L1 square. Just equip magnified stop there. Now what you have to do is as soon as the round starts with Kate, Kate Sith, Cast Magnify stop, a go switch to Aerith, Aerith casts an uh, Arcane Ward on Cloud and then Cloud uses ATB boost to get 2 ATB and then just hit them with a Magnified Quake. That Quagga is going to do a lot of damage and it's going to, you know, just uh, destroy these enemies as you see here. But in the first round, be mindful that the bird sometimes uh, flies away. So if the bird flies away from the Mastodon, the other land enemy, I think Mastodon is his name, yeah. Uh, there are some confusing enemy names here but if the bird flies away then just restart the challenge like don't waste a, a full attempt on this because that can lead to some wasted time also you have very little defense particularly in this level so be mindful that if you get hit yeah, your round is pretty much done like i have really struggled a lot with this so i want you guys to know that right okay second round same trick this one works easily the next round, see again magnify Quagga on cloud, um, Quagga on cloud, uh, it wrecks through all these enemies. This is not something you have to worry about, this trick works easily on this. The main round you have to watch out for though is the next one. The third round, it's really 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 bad. So I'm going to talk you through this, just listen very carefully because I was struggling. Like the third round was the, the third round, the fifth round and I guess the seventh or the eighth round where you get the Hecate's enemy these are the rounds that are going to end this run for you the other rounds you don't have to worry about much so in this again magnify stop on the enemies Aerith ca casts an arcane ward on cloud but the important thing to notice here is that cloud should cast his quega outside of the arcane ward because if he does it again then it gets reflected back and your whole team will die so you will not be able to do anything and as as soon as cloud is casting that go to quits it give him one atp bar and then switch over to cloud and what you have to do over here is try to stagger this adjudicator if you don't stagger him you should just restart right away i believe like if he's on low health i think i am not able to stagger him 
and then this in uh, yin and yang also yin yang awakens he goes into a berserker mode so i just go for a hail mary over here i try to stagger him because i was unable to when he was stopped now casting stop on him is not going to work in my favor so i try to see their cloud fell unconscious but thankfully i had arise on erith so i was able to arise him i was about to like go down my kate set is as you can see very less defense you don't last very long in front of these enemies trying really hard to uh, somehow stagger that guy i did stagger yin and yang i believe kate set fell uh, uh, fell unconscious over there erit also fell unconscious over there but thankfully cloud had a full bar and quega and these guys were staggered so i just hit, let him have it. this killed the adjudicator which just saved my but you see how barely i'm surviving there with such a tried and tested thing because this yin and yang guy does a lot of damage like he does magic damage and physical damage but thankfully i hit koiga again here when he was coming to hit me and i got him. this was very lucky like you see how frantic it was over there this is the as i'm saying this is the one round which is going to end it completely for you so please please be very very careful with this one it's really important now moving on to the fourth round this is nothing like ignore i don't think you i even have to talk about the same technique magnify stop on all the enemies uh, arcane ward on cloud and a magnify quake i think they'll go down with the first one like arcane ward on cloud atb cloud uses atb boost and you use magnify quake i think they're pretty much done you switch over to kate set to charge up one more atb uh, atb meter uh, like one more stack of atb you switch over back to cloud i think i'll just cast another quake because i have magic efficiency and uh, mp absorb equipped you can see that my cloud's mana is not going down Uh, what does what that does for me is like i can cast spells and not be worried about losing mana because you only record 30% mana per round so you won't have to worry about this now the next one fifth round this is another tricky round because that white terror over there has a ton of health like a ton of health don't really have to worry about the white mouse just have to stay away from him because if you don't stay away from him what he does is that he can sometimes eat your party member and as i said very little defense very little health you guys have so it's pretty much done also stop does not work on the mouse guys so what you have to do is make sure that they are together and cast a quega so that it hits both of them so there i did not uh, i forgot to use the atb uh, boost cast it on white terror hopefully it will hit the other guy as well and then with kate swift uh, kate set the intention is to go and finish off that guy uh, the white mouse but i was focused on uh, staggering this one also once they are staggered they stop wears off on enemies uh, let me tell you what stop stop only works three times after it it is totally ineffective and if the enemy is sta staggered stop wears off on him you have to cast stop again so uh, here i cast it stop again to stop his stagger bar and so that i can keep hitting him with cloud i am trying to quickly charge you see his stagger bar is not going down i am trying to quickly charge my atb uh, meter so i can hit him again and i am successful in doing so i think i have one more stop left over there but as you see white terror has so much health even it staggered with full quega he's not taking so much damage i think i went for the yeah i did not i removed the magnify mark from the stop so that it is more effective on this guy and uh, i think it worked over here and this is where i got really lucky as i was charging up cloud i got him uh, charging cloud's atb i got him uh also uh, when you have only one enemy left don't use the magnified version you have you can just press l1 uh, when your spells um, in your spells meter when you are hitting them and that way you can you know just uh, hit them with the normal version of the quega or the stop and that uh, uh, does more damage that is more effective against them so again same technique here the levicron moved away so i think my quega is not going to hit them as well as i wanted to hit it i wanted it to hit them but still it does my good damage this is another round which you don't have to worry about too much you can get them just focus on i like uh, kate said already has one atb stack up i am going to do it with cloud uh, i think levicron will start moving before, before i start um, hitting and he will come close over here and he'll get hit as well which technically works in my favor these guys just have a lot of health they don't do uh, they uh, but they don't have a lot of resistances Uh, levicron can cast haste on himself and do damage that way but i think uh, i'm still able to get him see that levidon enemy he is uh, still at full health like magnify stop has not worked on him and i think he has casted haste on himself 
so i am just going to use ray of judgment with erith over here on level we down so ray of judgment does more uh, like increases the stagger damage rating like it's one it's always stuck at 160 ray of judgment like uh, tifa's attacks it increases the damage amount uh, like see you see it's going to 180 190 i think ray of one ray of judgment gets it all the way to 195 it, it is not as effective as tifa's attacks but it's still good uh, but don't count on that like don't make this mix this into a shit in your strategy if you have the time and if you have the charge atb charge on Aerith, go for it with the staggered enemy but uh, be mindful that Aerith, Aerith is stuck in her animation when she's doing it and she can take damage at that time so if you can avoid it you like be really sure uh, before hitting ray of judgment i think i hit ray of judgment one more time in this match you see there right, we got all the way up to 200 percent damage and got the levy down there so that's another round done next round i think this is the easy one this this is the seventh one as far as i remember this one also you don't have to worry about much like i'm still reeling from uh, i'm sorry if i'm blabbering a bit yeah this one is very easy i'm still reeling from having completed this challenge like i thought my platinum run was done and dusted like totally over there is no way i'm going to be able to finish this challenge and move on and you know get the rest of the brutal challenges in but luckily i was able to this another very easy one dune worm the, uh, the smaller worms dies from the first quicker dune worm gets staggered he takes a lot of damage when he, once he's staggered i go out to case it cast another stop on him and then one more quega just finishes him off so not the round you have to worry about next round is the round you have to worry about like be very careful with that one but we'll get to the but i'll tell you about it when you get there this is uh, the next round is the one why you have breach equipped you have to be really careful there also because uh, don't just cast any spell at the beginning because whatever you cast is going to get reflected on you and your whole party will be totally done all right round eight this is the tough one guys because this i enemy hecatize or whatever his name is has breach equipped and he almost always vanishes so the trick is to cast dispel on him with Aerith. so when he uh, do it when he once he reappears because otherwise you'll just waste Aerith's uh, atv charge meter now he has damage now he gets staggered pretty easily what you have to do is with Aerith or someone move around a bit in a way that both of these enemies come together that is what you want like see with kate set i'm trying to get a double charge on kate set if i'm lucky and i'm also trying to get cloud next to him so that the other enemy comes close and when i cast a stop it stops both of them and luckily i staggered this guy and see quickly i move to kate set i cast stop i move to Aerith, i cast arcane ward on cloud and i'm and this is a very good position i got them in. like i got really lucky these guys don't uh, group up like this in natural run so you might you have to be watchful here what you do there okay guys like be mindful don't uh, you may not get as lucky as i did but still the technique works you have to cast breach on this one. there's my synergy comet breaking down on this guy and now i'm just gonna use my quega again and this is going to stagger him and the second one is i think we're going to kill him yeah that's it so second round down, third round there is, uh, sorry, ninth, eighth round down, ninth round. This one also annoying because this Adventios boss has, I cannot even tell you how much health he has. Like I think he has a million or something by the amount of damage he takes. And he also can cast a barrier or a shield on himself that, you see there he goes, he's casting barrier. But luckily I have already casted stop on him. So he stopped mid animation. And now the trick is to get him to stagger somehow. It is really tough because he does not get staggered easily like you see Max Quega, Magnified Quega twice has not even got, I have not even gotten a half bar of stagger full on him. So the trick is to just get him to stagger somehow. I use all my stops on this guy because I am like, I am not standing around to check with this guy. Like The other one will die on his own, he will not be able to get much of a damage out of it. You see there he is got uh, staggered. Now another one is staggered. Now I am trying, I am thinking about casting one more stop. This will be my third stop. So I am a bit mindful. I want to be sure that I have clouds. There you go. I staggered him. With Kate said quickly cast stop on him. I, I use the un unmagnified version that does more damage. That is more effective actually. And then with Quega. This Quega also is not going to do much damage to him unfortunately. 
but I have aired it, so I cast Ray of Judgment on him to you know improve his stagger percentage. The damage percentage of his stagger you see there it goes up. It takes more damage. Go back to Cloud. Work on charging it up. I don't think my next I try, I have Kate Six level full, but I don't think my next stock is going to work on this guy. So I just go back. To, uh, I just quickly charge Cloud's ADB meter and hit another Quega. And I think I get lucky with this one, but uh, or maybe he has no no. I think he will be left with some more spares, uh, health left after this. But he's almost done. Yeah, I think I get him. Yes. Oh, thank God I got him. I forgot the part that I got so lucky with this. So again, I am getting a bit lucky here, but the strategy is sound. This will work for you. It might take a couple of tries, but this will work for you. All right. Now the final round. This round not so tough. The only problem is that the Tonberry King can one shot you, and you he has put a curse on you so that your ATB meter charges really slowly. So the first thing to do is to, with cloud move around so that these two are stagger uh, grouped together when you're using stop. You see, when I'm using magnify stop now on Tonberry King, they are both together. So that means that when I hit them with the Quega, they will be pretty close, and both the like they will be hit by technically four magnified Quegas at this point because my spells will repeat themselves. Full ATB charge on cloud. Use Quega. My health is really low. I hit uh, Tonberry King quickly. Ch charge up uh, Kate's uh, ATB stack to one. It's not gonna happen easily. And now try to charge Clouds back to one, but this is going to take time because we are first. It slows down. We are hit with a lot of debuffs in, in this round, particular round. So be mindful. But I go back. They are again moving. I cast stop again, and I think this might just do it. I think this will do enough damage to actually stagger the uh, Tonberry King and I think I just might get the Joker with this one. Uh, getting the Joker done easy quick uh, first is actually a very good advantage but I think he still survived somehow. I still had a full Quega on so I did not worry. I was like let's just let me just hit them. They started moving again. I uh, put stop again. I did not wait like the uh, I think smart thing to do would have been to wait for the Tonberry King to move and the, or get a staggered and then hit him but I was like I'm not taking any chances but there you go people aliens intonement finally done you obtain a magnify orb as well so that's great I hope you guys like it please remember to like share and subscribe and remember to stay healthy stay safe and stay busy playing some good games